Well, hello, my friends. Arigato taicho. Welcome to episode four of the Total War Shogun to Portugal campaign. Hope you're all enjoying. I'm certainly enjoying. When I get home from work, I usually record an episode if I have the time. I'm always excited to play it. So, quick recap before we get in, into today's episode. We invaded the mainland of Kyushu. Uh, sorry, not Kyushu. This is Hyoga, isn't it? Actually, it is Kyushu. I'm getting a bit mixed up. Anyway, um, suggestions in the comments. Maybe attack north. Maybe attack south. I went with option three. I went straight into the middle. And I went for Higo. They came out and attacked me with a full stack. They be in Sagara. Uh, I ran away like a little pussy into the lands of Bungo. Sagara thought, nah, I can't be asked to chase. Went back to Higo. Shoni army hanging around by here. Sagara had like hardly anybody in Bungo. And I went, thank you very much, and took Bungo. So we have a settlement in the mainland, which is the first thing, which is the good thing. However, what's happened since is Shoni ninja into Higo while Sagara was chasing my little army that was down here, which eventually got transported to Bungo. Meaning that we've got the Ito down the bottom now, and we have the Shoni in the north. So we've got Shoni, Olin, Higo, Izen, uh, Takushi, uh, Takushi, and they are allies of the Uchi, which hold uh, Buzen. Now, I've got decent units. I certainly want to have some more battles, but I need to think this through positively. We've got two trade spots here. This trade ship is doing a bit of scouting for me. I'm tempted to send it down south by here. If I can get a third bit of income from one of these areas, it's going to be beneficial. Don't forget that everybody hates me. Now, I think I said at the end of the episode before this one, episode 3, that I was going to probably go south and try and take out the Ito. Because at the very least, attacking the Ito, they are at war with the Shoni which, and the Chosokabe, which are two factions quite close to me at the moment. Certainly the, uh, the Shoni. And they don't like me. I can trade with the Shoni as well. I doubt it, though, if they... Well, they won't be able to get anything with me. But if I were to attack the Ito, it should at least give me an idea of what we're doing. So we're at the end of turn phase from the last episode, guys. I could obviously move out. It is snowy conditions, though. It would be foolish to do so. And I want to try and recruit more men. I can't afford any more Arcaviziers at the moment, which is a bit of a shit. Uh, but I have two generals, and I do have pikemen and Arcaviziers. So I'm fairly happy with the army. But I want to find out what else we can do. Uh, five turns, I do get away the bow and get musketeers, possibly. But let's end turn. Let's see what the episode brings today. I hope it will be a fun one. And I just want to quickly say this. I don't get a chance to say this in most of my... Oh, no, please. Oh, no, no, the missionary dead. I don't believe this. And that was the Shoni. Oh, and they're killing each other. Okay, this is perfect. Right. Um, I just want to say quickly before we get into it that uh, I want to thank all my patrons and my channel sponsors for all of your hard work it really makes youtube um i don't want to say the reason why i do youtube because i do it because i enjoy it but it makes it worthwhile it makes it um very sort of humbling that people are, are out there willing to support the channel so i just want to say thank you to all the people that have done that um over the christmas period i wasn't able to do as much as i would have hoped but i am fully back into the swing of things now and like i said a big thank you right big armies come out here to attack against the shoni because they're at war satsuma can be ninjured i'm gonna use my ship though firstly to get around here more ships more ito ships that's fine thing is they're gonna navy so we have to be careful here this is uh the amarco let's go with the amarco bastards try and discover this coastline a little bit perhaps for me before I decide to go in all guns blazing, no pun intended. Uh, so we know we've got that there. Public order's fine in Goto. Not going to bother upgrading the roads and stuff. Bungo's public order will probably rebel once I start pushing men out from here. Let's continue recruiting Arkabuziers. If I was to leave with everyone here this turn. You would be pretty pissed. But if I was to stick a general in here. 
minus two. It might be worth having a rebellion just to get it out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a rebellion. I'm going to force a rebellion. But then again, is it worth me pissing about? Probably not. I'm going to delay myself even further. Uh, I need to get to Hyoga. Shit. You're not going to be able to take out a rebellion, are you? Thing is, I'm not bringing in much per turn. If I was to go up the financial tree to at least high, you would be really pissed, wouldn't you? But over here, Goto would also be fairly pissed, so that's not a, an option either, really. Get away with it for a turn, but after that, you do struggle. Bongo has a port. Can't do anything with it. Actually, I get Merchant Caravels. It costs 500. I'm going to need chips, though, aren't I? More than... I'm going to need this. It's a very experienced Merchant Caravel. Not best suited for battle, but at least I have a bit more visibility. Because what I can do, I can actually stick the army on the boat and attack that way. That's actually a better idea. Right, keep the army out by here. I can even get another merchant crewman. Which I'm going to do because that might actually help keep the peace. Right, we've got a good plan in place. Just developed a cunning plan here. We're going to stick the army on the boat. We're going to sail from Bungo in two turns. If I get the rebellion, great. If I don't, that's also fine. Okay, I'm recruiting warriors at least. Oh, is there a... Oh, no, they haven't left it because Amarco's still there. I keep thinking that the Amarco were, like, gone. Alright, let's go up this coastline and see what we can find. Choso Kabe ships. Interesting. Let's go around them. I need to get up here. This is there for the take-in! Right, we got to take it. I'll have a secondary ship to help the navy if I do get attacked here. The problem is these ships will literally kill my income by doing such an act. But we know they're embroiled in a war. I would think they'd lose Ito. And that leaves the Osumi and Hyuga. If I take Hyuga, i got a nice little defensive area to work from here. Bungo's actually not too pissed. Right, you need to move. You should actually get there this turn as well. You could get there this turn. Right, we can take Hyuga here. We'll have another ship in another turn. Oh, it's kicking off, guys. Right, um... Ito, uh, the Shoni. I wish I could get myself this... Offer to join your war. Give you money. You know, I'm doing all this stuff and they just won't do it. It's really pissing me off. But let's just check our reliability with them. Minus 157. Keep that in mind. Minus 157. Okay. I'm going to take you get this turn with the army. Now that Bungo has settled down. I'm not going to fight this battle because why would I fight it? Could have, of course, starved them out, but that just gives them a chance to rally. I lost three. That's perfectly acceptable. I could vassalize, perhaps, depending on who it is. But I'm just going to peacefully occupy. He's increased in rank as well, which is fantastic. This is perfect. We've got a nice bit of land going right here now. Uh, I don't get a port with this settlement, but that's totally fine. Um, so 157, I said, wasn't it? With the Shoni. It's 142 now. But it's still not going to do anything with me. They just hate me. They absolutely hate me at the moment. And understandably so. Right, we need to rebuild the, f the stronghold. That's actually a good thing to get. That's going to be useful. Stronghold is much better than this. This is just a fort, I believe, yeah. I need to build up a fort as well, eventually. Okay, at least I've got the merchant crew in you. I can't really stay like this. Oh, shit. They, I don't know. <laughs> For a second, I saw the red but there. I thought, oh, we're at war with them. No, it's just these down here. The Ito have two left. Now, the Ito, hostile. Yeah, peace is a no-go. What's Hayuga got? No Daichi, no Daichi Dojo, which is useless. Gives me swordsman. But... Uh, I can't recruit them yet, though, can I? Ah, I, can, I can actually get swordsmen and arquebusiers. Costs a lot of money, though. 
for archery. I'm gonna need this bowmaster dojo. Get the, I'll get this. I get the musketeers once I've get bow expertise, which is what I'm currently doing. Where the bow? So that's fine. We should be able to get them. I've got better food. I need that. I got better roads. So that's fine. So these are two things which are useful. Build this up in one turn. I'm not going to recruit anybody. Okay, that's fine. Right, General D'Souza. Lionel D'Souza. What to give you? Wedge formation. Prove the rate at which Bushido Arts are master. That's going to be useful. Find a minute. See, I could get my caveat movement up by one. Stand and fight is going to also be useful. Yeah, we should go to that route, really. Yeah, get the movement first. You have to be f that rank, don't you? I got two skill points left. Made defense for his bodyguard. Morale for his bodyguard. Let's get morale for the bodyguard. Give them good morale. Better morale and better movement range for you. Gonna actually be quite useful. Only one unit's really replenishing here. Happy with this. Not a bad little thing that we've done. I'm expecting lots of nations to declare war on us. Yeah, at least I can spam merchant uh, crew and stick them in these settlements at least, if um, if need be. The Ito are at war. Two trade ships. I come off this trade spot here and they start declaring war on me. This is, uh, they start attacking me rather, not declaring war. I could of course use my three ships here. Merchant caravels. Could we believe this is just a one? I could go with a two. I could go five ships and five ships. I'm going to lose a lot of income by doing this, though. Might be worth it for a turn. I can perhaps blockade the port. I know I've got one more ship coming from here. I've got this ship as well, don't forget. Matter of fact, let's blockade the port with this ship. Uh, can three ships... Okay, if, if I take three... On you. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to lose income for a turn. I'm not going to fight. I'm going to auto this. Yeah. It was worth doing it. I'm not very good at naval battles. That's why I auto it. Really can't stand naval battles. But it was worth doing that. Oh, I can't get back to this turn though. Bit of experience. Okay. I need to probably be repaired at some point. I get this trade spot. I should get this trade spot next turn. They are out of the ocean, so they can't attack me and disrupt because they could have attacked them over there and perhaps taken that. At least I've got the income for one thing. I should get that back. That was definitely worth my move. And you can blockade the port. I'll give me a little bit of line of sight, hopefully, around here as well. So that's useful. Right, end turn. Been a good episode as far as crafting this campaign. Uh, my big worry was that I would lose and make errors when I invade because I played this mod in its infancy last year and I made some terrible er errors which I try not to replicate here. Right, um, you definitely need to get moving to their port. Crush their income for me please. Got line of sight on Asumi here. How far can the army march? Got to be aggressive here, no point dilly dallying about. I can get as far as quite far actually. I'm confident if I go this far. We're actually losing money now. Okay, I can't get any merchant caravels. B80, I'm slightly short. Uh, everyone's hostile. This is going to be annoying. Uh... Even the Shoney, I wish I could get something in place. Just can't at the moment, I don't have the income. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, this is how we do it. We'll leave one Arquebusier and one Pikeman behind. The rest all come with me. We'll leave them behind in case of rebellion. And I've got something there. You're going to hide in the bush. Right here. Striking distance to Asumi. You're blocking the port. 
Yo, now getting back on here. So that we're getting 300 next turn. Right, good move here. They were 500 each, weren't they? Just for basic. They're quite expensive, these merchant caravels. Right, I've got you now. You need to be sailing for me. Get you around here. I can obviously put units on the ship and move, but I'm going to have you basically reinforce what we've got. You're going to go around the other side. There's a port here as well, isn't there? Which I need you to attack. Attack both ports, cripple their economy. We'll try have a few turns of building up to the south before we attack the north. Then I'll probably go for Chosokabe, I think, and try and eliminate them from the game. So I'll have basically two big islands. Can't destroy it. Bugger! Bugger, bugger, bugger! Ah, oh, shit! Ito have been destroyed by the bloody Shoni. I don't believe this. Bastards! I own half of the island. Thing is, uh, okay, the Uchi are enemies of the Amako. Amako own the two up there. Choso Kabe have three. Bastard! I don't believe that. Oh, that pissed me off. Really pissed me off. Right, let's get the two ships together. They're sailing in a fleet somewhat, so if we do get attacked, we might stand half a chance. Ugh. Bloody hell. Probably go with us fine in these settlements. Bloody hell. I need to get um, another merchant or uh, not merchant, what are they called? Missionaries. Need more missionaries. I'm making 300 a turn with one food and 600 in the treasury. I can recruit, sort of recruit at the moment. I have to decide where to attack next. Uh, Shikoku uh, is so tempting to go across the water. Or should I stand and fight here? This is the thing, I don't know. I'm going to give you guys the option. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break from the campaign for a couple of days. This is obviously going to be episode 4. Episode 5 will be recorded in a couple of days' time. I'm going to spend some time playing Crusader Kings 2 for a bit. And some other stuff. And I'm going to have a look at the comment section of this video. I want you guys to tell me what you'd like me to do with this campaign. Where am I going to attack next? I like your involvement, guys. It's always nice to see what you guys think. So, to have a quick recap, we took Yuga. I would have taken Asumi if it wasn't for the pesky Shoni. But we do have tr two trade posts going on, giving me a little bit of income. I do have a decent army. Ten units here, or, or nine units with the general. Uh, with two more to be picked up in Hyuga. And a couple in Bongo. Mm, you know, not too bad. We should be able to match most armies, I would have thought. Oh, I... <laughs> That's ruined my plan. I was going to go and take the south. I was going to go around to Osumi and Satsuma, but they obviously were quicker one step ahead and took them because they had that big army up here, didn't they? And it's the distance is taking me to get to Hyuga and then down there. It's annoying. So let me know what you want me to do. Do I go straight for the Shoni here? I mean, I am in striking distance of them, although I don't know what, quite what they've got there, so I'll probably get to here first before approaching. Do I jump on a boat and go t over to Chosokabe or across here? Bear in mind, if I do go to war with the Shoni, the Uchi are going to join, and they are right above Bungo here, and we'll probably beat back Bungo. Bungo is only a fort. Hyuga is a stronghold, fortunately. And also, i got a stronghold at Goto, my home province. So a few things going on in the campaign, guys. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.